Hi, it's Kieran Stapleton as head teacher at St Joseph's. It is Friday the 28th of April and um, I know it looks like I'm walking on my own but I'm right at the back of a faith walk which has got about 945 students right there in front of us um, who've managed to walk from Slough down to Eton School. We've gone into their pavilion, had a great big photo shot and now we're on our way back um, on St Joseph's Day, on our feast day. It's been a great day. We had um, Mass with the Bishop here um, earlier on today and, and a number of the clergy of the parish and we've had uh, lots of games in the afternoon after the first couple of lessons of the day um, and now we're finally getting on our way back. We might be a little bit late uh, than we thought. It's going to take a little bit longer to get across some of these roads than, than, uh, than what we'd actually prefigured. Okay, it's been, a, it's been an amazing week. We've had um, students out to uh, Wicked um, Theatre this week. Um, we had the ski trip come back in half term. That was such a joyous occasion to see everybody come back. They had a, a really brilliant time. There's loads of Easter recessions, revision sessions over. We've had revision sessions after school. We've had the exams have started this week with the listening exams. So here it is, the GCSEs and the A-levels are now here amongst us and, and, and above us. Um, the staff had a, a training day with Doug Moore on Monday. I think we spoke about that earlier on in the week. The electives have been hugely fun this year. We've had 70 students have joined up to do the new mus a musical on the back of the last one. Um, and we had um, the Walk for the Ladies Football Club come down and um, uh, 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 spend the day with our girls. There must have been about 100 girls involved with it and I've never seen so much excitement um, in the day. We had some really famous people come down. Helen Ward is one of the most, um, sort of scored the most international football goals in, in women's international football ever that was down with us. And then we got free tickets to go and watch them last night so it's been a really late week the good news was that what for one two one and it was really exciting for the girls who came down as well and then who met them afterwards we've got some brilliant photographs with the team and some of the coaches they treated us really well so thank you what for football club for all of that as well something close to my heart um okay we've got a, a letter uh, uh quite a significant letter that we're putting forward to today um uh, attached to the, to the to the newsletter which we'd like you to have a quick read um and it's really something which has arisen about the, um, the reason why all the strikes are here, I'm not saying anything about the strikes, that's unhelpful and irrelevant really for here, but just to talk very pragmatically and practically about the impact of what's happening with that. So obviously this year we've seen um, a 5% increase in teacher wages, um, uh, but that's been unfunded. That means that comes straight out of the budget that we have, which is an in-year. In -year. Um, we've seen um, fuel costs rising by over 300%. Um, you know our annual gas bill, which we have our oil bill, for example, let alone electricity, you know, has gone from about six to eight thousand pounds every six to eight weeks to twenty-four thousand pounds every six to eight weeks. It's, it's, it's a fairly significant chunk. That with lots of unsupported things, that has a knock-on effect on things like the cost of food and all of the things that we do along those lines. So um, the school is in a really strong financial position, and we've got really good reserves. You've seen the amount of work that we've been building in and around the school over the year. But what we have to do as an academy is that we kind of almost have to operate on a, on a business level where technically registered a company's house along the business as long as the rest of the trust. So we give our monthly accounts in and, and uh, we have to, whatever, whatever happens, no matter how much we've got saved in the bank, it's really important that our annual budget is balanced at the beginning of the year, at the end of the year. So that inevitably means with those food rises and our, 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 our account, our, the money coming in, simply isn't gonna match what our outgoings have been this year. So I put a letter out to that effect and one of the things that we're thinking about is things that we did to our timetable. So last year we brought in a whole load of things that we think that really that we needed to, to improve the curriculum offer to see what we were doing. We brought in the reading programmes, we brought in electives, we brought in all kinds of those things. Um, uh, I've got some of the students just in front of me there <laughs> pulling faces trying to put me off doing this. Um, uh, and. Um, uh, we, but we're going to have to review some of the, what we do with the offers. We, we think the electives are great, we think the reward budget has, has been really positive, the reading programme has had massive dividends, but we're going to question the cost of running uh, the, what it is to take the period six. So that, uh, we've got to need your, your sort of views around that, because what I'm going to propose is that the extra money that it's taken to run period six, which doesn't actually impact on the actual curriculum time that we, we, we're required to run as directed hours, it very much was something extra and above, but the COVID money coming in didn't really ever catch up for it and the amount of money that the government have promised that they're going to give us next year relates nowhere near what it's going to cost and any of those rises at all. So we're proposing actually that instead of uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday where years 10 to 13 stay back an extra hour that we're not going to do that. Now technically that's a change in the school timetable really for years 10 to 13. It means everybody finishes at 3.15 um, as opposed to the break in split at 4.15. So we need to, to consult with you with that. We'd like your views around that. Um, and if that's, if that's, you know, we really need to hear what we're going to bring that to the governors. 
I'm going to bring that to the trust. They're already involved in the discussion around that as well. We generally need to, to hear what you've got to say within that programme. Okay, so that's all in the letter. Um, but meanwhile, um, from all of us a lot here, constantly moving away from me, quite behind us here. It's been a great feast day here. It's been another great year at school so far in that, in that regard. And, uh, and we'll have a great weekend. Okay, that's it. St. Joseph, pray for us. <laughs>